Hi guys, here is your host Tyreek. Welcome to my podcast episode and today we're going to talk about never quitting. The reason why you can never quit on your dreams is because your dream is always continuing and if you just quit in the middle of a problem and you don't figure out a solution then those problems will always be there. So just never quit and quitting to me is it's like you want to do something but you aren't too sure about it or you just aren't serious about your dreams and that's why you're not really doing what you want to do and ignorance if you keep feeding into ignorance and neglecting your dreams then your dream will never happen and you'll never see the life that could come from your dream and i feel like when you make your dream come true it's like it's a different feeling because you wake up every single day and you are actually happy as in you wake up with a smile and you know you don't have to force yourself out of bed and you realize that you don't have to be like oh another day another dollar you know you can actually see what life is supposed to be for you and we don't wait for things to happen we make them happen so you can never quit on your dreams like you have to push yourself and put yourself forward and just put yourself first in anything that you do and take care of your mind take care of your mental because if you don't train your brain then your brain will be all over the place and you don't want to you know give yourself too many distractions cuz the more distractions that you give yourself is the more times that you're telling yourself that you're not going to be able to do something and you just have to be committed at anything that you want in life cuz commitment is what's going to make you different from everybody else because how long that you stay committed to something is how long that your dream will soon come true because your dreams are everything for you and you make life fun when you are chasing your dreams and you learn so much about yourself when you are chasing your dreams that you would never learn from anywhere else nothing can teach you about success unless you actually go through the horror stories you go through everything that people tell you to avoid and you just keep you know commanding yourself that you're going to see what life is for you because life we are in a book and you are writing the story of your life and you have to have enough chapters to make a book you know be published and st- sold in stores so you cannot just have an empty book and when you have a book fulfilled with so many memories and so many things that you went through people can then read your story and then they can feel the sense of passion that you had while you were chasing your dreams but if you never go through anything then nobody can keep up with you so instead of you trying to just follow anybody else's lead and just why not come up with your own lead come up with your own passions and your own life that you want to live because oftentimes we think that life is supposed to be work 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 and do a job that you don't like but i feel like what life should mean more than that life should be i can wake up at any time of the day that i want to i don't have to worry i don't have to have stress and i can really put my all into something and i can see the results i can see the work that is going towards it and i'm always progressing in myself because i'm working hard and i love what i do so like the hard work doesn't really seem like labor to me so i keep on going and i keep on pressing the button and the gas because i have to go somewhere you know cuz in life if you're doing something that you don't like your days feel so long but if you're doing something that you love your time goes by so fast and you just love doing what you want to do so i feel as if your dream is supposed to change how you think because if you're just thinking the same way as you was before the dream then your dream is not going to happen it's going to make you alter your mind it's going to make you alter how you think about life how you think about your next move and how you think about other people and how you want other people to look at you like you're not going to think the same things like if somebody's telling you that your dream cannot be true then you're not going to look at them and be like yeah my dream is true i can do anything that i want to do you know you give yourself that confidence you give yourself that authority that your dream is going to come true no matter what anybody says about me because guess what just because you didn't do it doesn't mean that i can't do it you know so i'm always pushing myself and i'm getting out of my comfort zone and my ability to actually make anything that i want happen and i can't allow any distractions i can't allow anybody to tell me otherwise because they're not where i want to be in life you know they're in their own version of themselves you know my mirror is always looking ahead of me and i always look in the mirror so i can keep myself accountable for my actions so if i'm slacking one day 
then I know that I need to just stop doing that, you know, because oftentimes our habits control who we are. And if you're in a person that doesn't do good things all the time and you're stuck in your bad ways and bad things will always keep coming to you. But you need to be self-aware of you because oftentimes we are living in a different costume every single day. We don't even know who we are and we're just stuck in the same life over and over again. We're in a broken record player. But I feel like if you have a dream, you can alter the life that you want because your dream will set you free. Your dream will change you. Your dream will make you a new person. And in 10 years, you're going to have to be the the person in 10 years. But you can't go back in time. So it's like you need to have a dream to literally change everything about you. You can't go back in time. You can't waste time because if you waste time, it's not going to come back. You know, you can spend money, you can make money, but you can't you can't get back your time. So why not just do what you love to do every single day? Why not just have the life of freedom that you want? Why not just be able to have choices and be able to have an abundance of just life and just see what life has for you and just go for it and just don't look back because if you look back then you're gonna keep not going to where you need to go and you're gonna be stuck in circles all the time so just go for it like see yourself winning see yourself pushing yourself see yourself doing the things that is necessary because it's in a do or die state like i'm not giving up on myself because my dream is everything to me and my dream is not just about me it's about the people that i'm inspiring it's the people that i'm motivating that really need to see my dream come true because everybody needs proof nowadays so if you just keep working hard on yourself the proof will show in the pudding and you'll just keep on making the cake that you can eat and share it with other people you know and you are in charge of yourself so always give yourself the answers you know no no handouts no excuses you can ask for help but you cannot just ask for it to be given to you because if if it's given to you then you haven't earned it and if when you don't earn something, it's technically ne- neglected all, all times. And then you don't really see the true value of what you are supposed to do. And value takes time to be created. But if you keep on doing the good things and you keep on becoming 1% better every single, every single day, then you will surely be worth every penny that you are charging because you really earned your life that you are truly grasping and you are holding from your mind into reality. You know, you have to take what is in your mind and you have to put it out there in the universe and you can do it and anybody can do it. And why not you? Why not see yourself win? Winning is the best feeling in the world. Succeeding is the best feeling in the world. Once you get it, you'll never want to stop and you'll always want to succeed. So why not see it? See yourself better than who you are. Like, what? are you missing in this world that you can't achieve and you're just not aware of it like have anything that you want everything is possible all you have to do is when you fall back fall back down get yourself back up again don't even think about staying down on the ground don't even think about you can't even do it don't even think about it's too hard it's too impossible don't even think about anything negative you have to change your mindset in order to see yourself change The weather is whatever the weather is going to give you. Some days are sunny, some days are rainy, some days are going to be snowing. Whatever wind is being thrown at you is is so be it. But you have to make yourself better in order to be able to... Instead of you saying, oh, damn, why is this always happening to me? Why can't I get out of this problem? No. Grow yourself so that you don't have to complain. Because complainers have a win. All you do is complain all day. That's an attitude disease that you are catching on yourself. And that attitude disease is not going to let you win. So don't complain about the wins because the wins is all you have. All you got to do is just make yourself better every single day. You know, gold, when gold is being produced, it has to go through so much heat. You know, when diamonds are being produced, they have to get cut. So you have to make sure that you are always going through enough pressure and enough endurance to build you up and see how you can actually withstand the storm and just you have to build yourself some armor and just build your character so that you can be the better person that would have never thought of seeing this type of lifestyle you know it just it doesn't just happen to people people work hard for it and guess what they get the results that they work hard for every single day so 
if you see other people that are successful and you're not successful, uh, successful, it's because they worked hard for it and they kept on pushing every single day. Like, why not push yourself? You can do it. What is stopping you? It's you that's stopping you. It's you versus you. There's no competition. You make the rules and you follow the rules. So everything is about law. So the law of energy, whatever energy you put towards is whatever thing that you're going to get out of it. So put positive energy into positive things and you will receive a positive outcome. Don't put negative energy into negative things and guess what? You'll get a negative outcome and you'll never see anything come to light. You are the light in the darkness, but you have to really turn that switch on and say, okay, I'm going to be the light and I'm going to be happy no matter what is going on because happiness is what's going to make me who I am. You know, if you're not happy all the time, then guess what? You're not going to want to be waking up out of bed at a good, decent time and you're not going to want to get out of bed. You're going to be stuck in bed, glued to your bed. You're going to be glued to your comfort zone. And guess what? That comfort zone is going to kill you because that comfort zone will never let you have anything because being comfortable will literally make you not want to grow and you have to have problems in order to grow in order to learn from your previous mistakes so that you can always see that a mistake is, is not a failure and a failure is not something that you can tell yourself that to you know tear you down you know just keep on pushing and keep on seeing everything that is for you that is, is for you you can have it as long as you see it in your mind you can have it. what's in your mind is what's in your world, and your world is big. Have a big imagination. Don't have a serious mind all the time. Just be like a kid again, and have the kid-like faith that you can do it. Because kids, they can do anything that they want to. Because all they have to do is look up to their, you know, big parents. And guess what? You are the leader of your life. So just keep on staying high into the sky, and just always dream of big things. Don't aim too low. If you aim too low, you might hit it. So you always want to dream big. So when you dream big, it's always like you're always working. You have to always work and keep getting into the habit of keep working. You know, your paradigm is how you work and how your habits are and how you keep on having a routine of either I'm going to work hard every single day and I'm going to make sure that I do it or you're going to have a negative paradigm where I don't feel like doing it today. I'm lazy and I just don't see myself winning. Like, you can see yourself winning no matter what. So keep chasing that dream every single day and just motivate yourself, dedicate yourself. You have to make a definite decision that I'm going to make this happen. And I don't see no negative things in my mind. I don't see no way that I can't do it because I am who I say I am. And I'm always the great person at the end of the day. And I always will win. So keep winning in your own version of what success looks like to you. But... I hope this message helped you out today. If it did, please leave a like, comment, share on this YouTube video. And check out my Motivated NYC podcast on SoundCloud, Spotify. And it's Motivated NYC Chase Your Dreams podcast. And thank you and have a good one. Let's go.